Is this the wedding? I expected it to be much larger. No sign of her yet. We need to wait. This is very romantic. Fuck off. <laughs> Behold, wars have started over uglier wenches. Well, raids have been undertaken at least. True, she looks lovely. Let's go. <laughs> Geralt always whoa, manages whoa, to make it sound better. Need to go in wearing that. What else? Have you seen how she's dressed? I'll not parade at that jewel's side in a rank tunic. You need a robe. One daren't attend a wedding in anything less. Don't happen to have a robe handy. What do you mean? What about that? Uh, fine. All in all, why not? Ah, that's the spirit. It's ugly. Ah, this'll do wonderfully. <laughs> we should it's like douchebag douchebag Geralt. Of course, and it looks Perfect just fit. like it feels tailor what he usually wears. Now for douchebag shoes. Geralt. One must wear shoes to a wedding. No! Don't you dare. Don't you dare touch my beard! <gasps> oh, you bastard! That's gonna take me days to grow back. Oh, please don't tell me. No! Why? I liked my beard. I've never seen a lovelier lass. Nothing left of you to draw on quarter, lass. Doe eyes, a swan's soft, supple neck. And a waist so slim you could grip it one handed. You're actually quite amusing this way. Uh, don't tell me. We must get to know each other better. You see, girl can't hold a candle to me. <laughs> uh, Be assured, you'll like me even better when you come to know me more intimately. <laughs> How intimately? Enough to get a sense of my assets, my dear. Trust me, they're nothing to scoff at. You look better than a beard. For a moment. Whatever for? This evening is about my pleasure, not his. Just for a moment, then you can jump right back in. I miss my beard. Be quick! I'll not stand here doing naught. I'm to enjoy myself. Geralt, I'm about to introduce you to the newlyweds. Please make sure your friend doesn't embarrass me. I can't make him do anything. All that nonsense is his. I feel like an ass saying it. I liked some of that nonsense. What? Maybe it's because he doesn't really talk about his feelings and she wants to hear that he likes her. Maybe that's why. For example? What, for example? It would do you good to be more relaxed sometimes. Relaxed? So you think I'm uptight? What I mean is, it would be nice from time to time if you could sit back and enjoy life. Instead of going around solving everyone's problems. But what does... <sighs> I don't understand. Of course you don't. Uh... You're as dense as year-old heart attack. Luckily, you've got me. Is he actually gonna wingman me? Huh, maybe he's not as much of an asshole as I thought he was. Huh, okay. We'll talk later. Let's go to this wedding. The sooner the ghost has his fun, the sooner this'll be over. Finally, something that's not utter tripe. We shall dance till the break of dawn. You, you might actually win my respect, douchebag. That's not enough. I shan't even get properly soused by midnight, let alone... Make an effort. I'm sure you'll manage. You get to frolic and carouse till midnight. That's our deal. You can't get drunk then by midnight? The capping, what? Then you go back where you came from. <laughs> So be it. Just chug it, dude. Just take a fucking this way, my thing strong. of moonshine and chug it if you want to get drunk. It's not... 
Not that Hello, hard. World, I'm back. I'll be damned. A proper wedding. Overladen tables, plenty no, of worthy drinking companions, wedding. and a swarm of fair maids. There's no naked people. This is lame. <laughs> but none compared to you, my dear rhubarb. <laughs> You dork. Beware of the dog, Shani. Judging by the size of its house, the muck must be big as a horse. Well, thanks for your concern, but the dog house is empty. They let a man-eater like that run free? Have the wedding guests been warned? Seems we are indeed in for a cracking good time. <laughs> this guy is kind of funny. What but he stole. He took my beard, so he's an asshole. I remember making necklaces of the fruit when I was a child. Ah, the berries make for splendid hooch. Olgerd and I brew it in our teething years. I shall introduce you to the newlyweds now. Try to behave. For you, my rowan petal, I'd do anything. Okay, this will be interesting. Okay, I can't say right now. Whatever! Come. Time to meet and be greeted. I shan't stray a step from your side. <laughs> what are you looking at? Okay. Okay. Be nice now. We did tricks. You could be if you'd have to. Once more, all the best in your new life. Thank you. It's us now. Dearies, blessings rain down upon you. May you live in health and happiness. Harmony and love forever last betwixt you. Oh, they're a cute Thank couple. You. From the bottom of our hearts. Now go. Enjoy the feast. Aww. Our turn. They're cute. My dear friend Aldona and her chosen one, Jonas. It's an honor. The sun shine brightly on this new path in your lives. I am Vlo. Uh, this is my friend of yesteryear, Geralt of Rivia. Yes, tis I, Geralt. Heartfelt <laughs> thanks for your hospitality. I adore weddings. The brides especially. So fragrant, so tasty, I could... Righto. I'm sure we'll all have a splendid time. Why did you choose this chap? You got a hefty dowry for your bride? How do you know Shawnee? Tell me, Aldona. How is it you and my dear Shawnee know each other? We met in Oxenfurt. <laughs> Both studied medicine at the academy. Wondrous times. Over quickly in my case, alas. My family couldn't afford to keep me there. I was forced to return home after one year. It's never too late to pursue an education, my dear. Your husband is certain to help you complete your studies, provide the necessary coin. I don't know. We've not talked about it. Come, Jonas, surely you've not taken Aldona as a mere diversion for the alcove. You will help her, will you not? That is between me and her. You needn't butt in. But I'm not. I merely oh. ask. See, I've come to love your wife like a sister. So I ask you as your brother-in-law, will you help her? I'm sure we'll discuss the matter. <laughs> That's my lad. You're a right decent chap. I knew it from the start. Hey. That's kind of honorable of him. Surprising. <laughs> We've chewed the fat enough. Time's a wasting. Are you uh, expected elsewhere? Me? Ha! I simply cannot wait to sample your liquors and dance with the local matrons. Jonas and I invited more than a few lovely maidens. Perhaps one of them will catch your eye. Oh, that's for damn oh. certain. And I'm in a predicament you will catch here. One of their... It'd be nice, certainly. But I shouldn't be terribly if it's not the case. Come, let's drink. Oh, I don't. I want to get this dude played because that's his. I mean, he's dead and he, he wants. He. 
wants to experience the pleasures of life, I feel like I should get him drunk and laid, but, but then I'd get Shawnee, then Shawnee would be jealous because this is Geralt's body. I'm in quite the predicament. <laughs> Even his stance is very different. Okay, let's go talk to the ladies and get some alcohol. Dancing! Yeah, this is where this is where I'm always at, at the party. The dancing. The booze and the dancing. Oh my god! Don't let me stop you. Uh. What the fuck is that? What the fuck? <laughs> I can never unsee that. How do I get drunk? Yes. Drink. I'm tipsy! Okay, let's go find the bitches! Ooh, ooh, there's something on the roof! Let's check it out. Ooh, someone's having sex. The ladder begs us to scamper to its top where we can converse. Then let us scamper. Oh, shit! How so? Just like that? There aren't that many ways to scale a ladder. <laughs> He's such a dork. We must have a splendid time. That's what matters. Make the most out of it. What a wonderful wedding. What do you want, girl? Oh, okay. How do I do it? Right. Sit down. Just like that. I'm all ears. What would you have us talk about? I'm sorry, converse. Well, when it comes right down to it, do you see, the thing is... Come now, spit it out. Mm -hmm. I... Yes, just as I thought. Well, it's time we were told. I... What's just as you thought? I find you in the Right, not to just take you and well, I was right to take the more romantic approach. Now come. We are to enjoy ourselves. Let's do just that. Aww. That's that's kinda cute. Vladimir, you are surprising me. What's going on there? You are surprising me. I thought you were just an asshole, but it seems you are a com complicated asshole. Of all these flowers, you, my dear, are the loveliest. Believe the young man's mistaken me for another. Not at all. I like my women as I like my peaches, fuzzy and well ripe. Get going. Come round here. Who could ever come of that mix? I never say no to a lady, to your fair beauty, and to your shiny, naturally. Your elf and happiness. Fortune smile upon you, white wolf. <laughs> okay. What can I do over here? 
Let's see. Do you need help? Shani, darling. Oh, you shan't believe what's happened. I'm marrying off my only daughter. Wanted a proper wedding for her. Wild revelry. So I hired a, a true fire eater. You know, whoosh, gulp, sizzle, sizzle. Ooh, I've not seen that sort of trickery. Horribly dear. Diversions of that sort. He journeyed here from Novigrad. But I'll not squeeze coppers on my daughter, oh no. The groom's family have us for paupers. We'll show them how wrong they are. Seems we won't, in fact, for our fire swallowers as gone as last Yule's pudding. Groom's hound chased him off. A blasted demon. Ugh, they sure named it right. Calm yourself, Dumpling. Master Witch is here now. Perhaps he can aid us. Okay. Before I can begin my witcherly investigation, I require guidance, clues. Tell me all you know, everything. Well, <laughs> this my voice makes me laugh. It is fill of food, not fire. He went for a stroll to air some gases, he said. <laughs> that horror demon saw him and started barking like a thing possessed. Why so? Haven't a clue. Didn't like the man, sent something awry. Perhaps that the man swallowed fire. Animals fear fire. If I feared, it would have fled, not given chase. Damn fool dog. How can you know? But it snapped its chain and chased the fire eater into the woods. Foolish or not, it's our son-in-law's beloved pet. There'll be hell to pay if it goes missing. Okay. You needn't worry. The Witcher, that is, I, will find this swallower of heated things. <laughs> Mighty generous offer, but no one knows where to look. Matters not. Witchers, that is, we have our ways. The Flame Gulper, what did he look like? He wore a jester's cap. Typical sort. Ought to be enough to identify him. I shall find him. We thank you. And hope for the best. Okay. Uh, awfully nice of you to offer your help, but are you sure you're up to it? You're not actually a witcher, Ludwig. I wish to find this magician. Give it a go, all right? But you cannot help me. I must do it alone. I expect it will be great fun. Okay. Ah, fine. Don't have to do this, but if I were you, I'd find the dog's tracks, follow its trail. Just a thought. Excellent advice. I'll take it. Shani, Vladimir and I need to find the Fire Eater. If we're not back by midnight, then... Relax. We'll be back in no time. I believe him. It shouldn't take me too long, hopefully. Tally ho Adventure awaits. Okay, can I use my witcher senses? Yes, I can. Okay, where's the dog? What? Missing man, missing mutt. Am I seeing this right? That gammy puss ran up a tree to escape that puppy. <laughs> Guess so. You. Get down. Oh no, no bloody chance. I value my life. <laughs> what do we do? Sit. Yep. Easy peasy. Now that is power. If I'd had that, the Horsons never would have gutted me. <laughs> Make it do some folly. Roll about on the ground. That sort of sport. No. Oh, could you be any more of a bore? <sighs> I'll do it myself. Aw, don't make the poor dog suffer. Roll over. <laughs> Were I to command it to eat its own tail, it would do so, right? Aw. Demon, doghouse now. Now what have you done? Why ever? Ruin my fun! Have it at the wedding. Climb down. 
Man-eating beasts gone, as you can see. You sure it won't return? Positive. He find, doesn't Very find it weird that he was talking sorry, to himself. Geralt, this jester is drunk as a skunk. I hope he's not polished off that bottle yet. Uh... I saved your life, man. Do you not at least owe me a sip? Of course. Bottoms up! Uh... I say, cracking good mead. Now I understand why you wanted some private time with it. Fine mead, true. Boar was fleeing a noun. And Boar, it, it was a monster. A, a furry, faggy devil. They chose a fitting name oh, for shit. it. Oh, shit. Shit. What did I just drink? You're a man whose trade is literally to play with fire. How can you fear a tiny runt of a dog? Was a monster! A demon! Oh shit, are you gonna say, hallucinate? You're a stoneless coward, sir. That's that. Oh, beg your pardon. I'm not a coward. I'm cautious. Know what would become of a fiery who paid no heed to caution? Hmm, I suppose he might singe his tongue. Guessed it. So it was that misunderstanding. Uh, okay. I thought I was gonna hallucinate because I thought he hallucinated when he saw the dog, but never mind. You can forget about performing in your state. I just what state would that be? Look at yourself, but. man. You're a tramp. Can barely stand, let alone perform. First off, that's bollocks. Second, I'm a fire eater, not a stilt walker. Standing straight ain't a requirement. Um. This may be my only chance to ask. Your fire guzzling trickery. How does it work? Oh, they tossed me out the guild if I told. Except if I took you on as an apprentice. In half a year's time, you'd learn. I haven't okay. half a year. Come, just between you and me. We've drunk together. We're practically brothers. Drank it all yourself. You're no brother of mine. You dare toy with me this way? Very well. Refuse to tell me, and I shall leave you here as a morsel for any passing boars, bears, or bloodthirsty fawns. So choose wisely. This here's a soul. He's suppressing the arts. <laughs> Out with it. I got, I got this special mixture I drink before every show. After that, I can eat fire, spit fire, do what I please. It don't burn nothing. Is that all? Where's the art in it? Any dribbling imbecile can smear his throat with a protective slurry. Oh, but just about enough of this. First they release the hounds, then come and steal my meat, and now insults. I'm done here. Goodbye. Oh, shit. Didn't mean to offend the bloody charlatan. Do something. Now, you're gonna forget everything you've seen, said, and heard in the woods. Wouldn't a smack upside the head help the matter? Put the cheating coward back in his place. Oh, no. no. You'll go back to the wedding and show everybody your tricks. Ooh, your charlatan's tricks. Yes, sir. I'll do as you say. Coming or not? I'm coming. I'm coming. That's what she to said. To the wedding, then. Perhaps I'll find some more interesting diversions there. <laughs>